I'm on Thurfield Heath National Nature Reserve near Royston in Hertfordshire and we're sat on, on Churchill and it's been a, a little bit of a trek to get here and it often is to find the very best things and this is for me one of the very best plants in the British Isles. Absolutely everything about it is just gorgeous from the colour, the texture to its rarity. And this is the pask flower, Pulsatilla vulgaris. It's a member of the buttercup family, closely related to our garden anemones. It doesn't get much bigger than this, perhaps oh, four or five inches tall, and grows in these lovely, very closely grazed, steep chalk grasslands. It's seen as something of, of a, a, an iconic flower. It, it's, it's a flagship species for this sort of habitat. And it's such a rare sight. There are now only 19 populations left in the British Isles. Last century, we think there were 127. And of those 19, four of them are less than 10 plants. One of them's only got one plant, one plant in Yorkshire. And that wasn't known about for almost a century because the rabbits kept coming along and eating the flowers off before it flowered. It's become lost because we've got the management wrong. It's not grazed enough. It needs these steep slopes. You often find it on old earthworks because there you've got the steep slopes and the open soils which it needs to colonise. And if it's overgrazed, it damages the plant, but it stays here hidden without the flowers. If it's undergrazed, all the other coarse growth around swamps the plant and very rapidly kills it. So what we're trying to do now is to restore these critically small populations by taking seed from some of these big ones and by linking up the different habitats so that they function as one big population again. Hopefully so that there'll be many more sites like this for people to see this absolutely fantastic little flower. Thank you.